Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Power BI with Postgres SQL Server. It could be the Postgres SQL in your local machine. It could be the Postgres SQL in any server. You would just need the credential, which I'm going to show you step by step, so that you can connect Postgres SQL with your Power BI and you can create amazing dashboard. So launch your Power BI and you just need to go to this Get Data. So click Get Data from other sources. You have by default these options. Click on Get Data from other sources because we're going to get the data not from a blank report not from excel not from sql server but postgres sql so once you launch power bi you will get all these options to get the data either excel file either sql server or uh, paste data into a blank tables we can click this one which is called get data from another source so once you click on it and uh, you will have all these options so click on database and uh, we are going to select postgres sql database and we will click connect now here is the important thing you need to give this server name if you're using postgres sql in your local machines so it is going to be local host if you're using postgres sql in any server like in the cloud so it is going to be a different name which is going to be maybe some name or some id so it is going to be dns that you need to provide here okay the url so here you can provide the database name. So if you're using again in local machine by default, the database is going to be Postgres or you can check. So for my case, I am using PG admin tools where I can check this host and everything. So here I'm using PG admin tool, which is a Postgres SQL management tool and my Postgres SQL is already running. So I can just right click on this server and uh, go to properties and go to connections. Here I can see the local host. So this is the server name, which is called local host. If you're using Postgres SQL in your local machine, it is going to be local host by default. And if you're using Postgres SQL in cloud, so you need to get the server URL. Okay. So for me, it is local host and the database that I have right now, which is this two database, I'm going to connect with this database, which is called IKEA. So let's go to Power BI and let's give the database name called IKEA. Okay. Once you give the database name, just click on OK and uh, then Make sure to select import because we're importing the database from this Postgres SQL. Here it is asking for the username and the password. So these two things you already know by default. Again, if you want to check for this database, you can just click on this database, right click on it, go to property and you will see who is the user. So Postgres is the by default user, so which is you. So we will select Postgres as the username and the password you already know which you basically use while opening Postgres SQL. So I'm just going to use which is called Postgres is my username and the password I'm going to give here and you can enter your password make sure the server that you are selecting which is called localhost so click on connect it is going to take some time and you may get some error but just click on ok and uh, you will be getting connected within just few seconds so for me it is connecting right now and uh, I will just wait and you can see it is connected and I have two tables in that database and I am getting both the tables here so let's say I want to load these tables and I want to load these tables and I can just click on transform because I'm going to transform the data. So I would just click on transform and it is going to load the data in my Power BI Power Query where I can do the transform and then I can do the cleaning and then I can create dashboards or whatever I want to perform here. I can click on refresh. So in one table, I have this information about the employees. In another table, I have all this information about the different different products. If you want to see in PG admin 4 as well also, I can go inside it and I can basically show you the tables that I have right now, which is Apple product and the employees. So if I just show you, I have the same, which is called select everything from Apple product. Okay. I will just run it. I will have the same product. You can see right now we have the same product. Now in Power BI, you have two options. One, you can you can get the entire data that I have shown you earlier, or you can just write a SQL query as well. Now I'm going to show you how you can write SQL query inside Power BI to get the data, whatever the data you want, instead of basically importing the data, which I have shown earlier. So I'm just going to click on get data from another source. And uh, this time I will just select database Postgres SQL again, and I would say connect. But I'm going to basically, instead of importing the data, here I'm going to say direct query. So I can run SQL query directly. So here I can just run the name which is called local, local host. Okay. And click on advance. So here you can write your SQL query directly instead of basically importing the data. Okay. So I will just give the database name called IKEA and, uh, and I'm just going to write the same query which is called product. And uh, let's say I want to only select for specific product which is called product type. So product type equals laptop okay only for laptop what i want to select and i would say where condition here okay so this is the query that i would 
right directly inside power bi so that i only get this three product okay so let's go ahead and copy it go to power bi and write it here so i would again need to kind of give the password and everything because i have deleted the previous password so just to show you here so it is asking for the user so user same which is called postgres and the password which is going to be same for my password i'm going to give it here and this connections remain same i will click on connect this time we will be getting only three product informations because i have just written the query okay so let's wait and click on retry there is some syntax error let's kind of check okay so we can just delete this semicolon okay i guess that's causing the issue time out we don't have to give and uh, we are going to just log on okay let's try to connect now now you can see we are getting three product informations which is here okay all these are from laptop so i can transform or i can load into my power bi so that i can create dashboard so you have seen how to get the data as an import and you have seen how to get the data by just writing the query thank you so much for watching the video till the end guys now i am conducting a power bi workshop where i'm going to teach each and everything in power bi if you want to learn more about power bi from me i'm conducting a 16 hour live power bi workshop where I'm going to cover from scratch to pro level and each and everything that you should know in Power BI. So it is going to split it into four days. So starting from 14th December, 15th December, 21st December and 22 December. Each day will spend four hours live including 30 minutes break. So let's see what are the modules that you will be learning in this Power BI workshop. We're going to start from scratch. So you will first learn what is Power BI, why you should learn Power BI, what is the demand of Power BI, what kind of job you can get by learning Power BI. Then you're going to learn more about Power BI ecosystems like desktop applications, mobile and Power BI services. Then we're going to learn how to connect different different data source from a Power BI. It could be MySQL, it could be Postgres SQL. Then you're going to learn data modeling in details. So you will be learning relationship between tables, you will be learning star schemas, you will be learning snowflake schema. Then you will be learning Power query basics so in power query we will be using power query to clean the data and then we will remove duplicates we're going to filter data so you're going to learn each and everything in power bi basics to advance where you will be able to clean the data you will be able to group the data you will be able to unpivot the data and all these transformation things you will be learning in this sections which is power query let's see the next thing that you will be learning so which is going to be advanced power query so we'll be learning more about data cleaning in power query in the advanced data cleaning you're going to learn a little bit about m language you will be learning conditional columns you will be learning merging and appending queries you will be learning unpivoting and data analysis you're going to learn grouping data in power query then we're going to create multiple highly interactive dashboard in these sections and you're going to learn DAX and automations. So if you want to enroll, check the link in the video descriptions. That's it for this video, guys. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.